It's been two and a half years since my last rat passed away. I'm really craving some rat cuteness. So today I'm bringing you guys along to the Sydney Royal Easter Show. We're gonna be hanging out at the Rat and Mouse Show. I'm gonna see rats for the first time in forever, film some people's reactions to seeing rats, and learn about how judging the rat competition actually works. Hello. Today we're going to go see some little ratties. I am super excited but also super nervous. I don't vlog in public so this is terrifying. So now we've just got to go find where the rats are and <laughs> not get lost. So I'm about to go into the pet pavilion. That's where they hold all the rats and mice. The people who are gonna be in there are from the New South Wales Fancy Rodent Society. They basically do shows around New South Wales and also have information for breeders slash register breeders. So they know their shit. So I'm really keen to go and see some people in there. I can see the sign that says rats and mice. This is Steve, he's the chief steward. He's responsible for the general running of the show and making sure entrants have all the information they need to attend. When I reached out to the club, making sure it would be okay if I was to film the rats, it was Steve who said I was allowed to come behind the barrier. With special permission from the club, I was finally going to be in the space of rats for the first time in years. Okay, so I'm on a lunch break, right? I got to hold a rat, a big chunky boy, and my heart just, ugh. I'm really grateful for Steve who let me go behind the barricade and actually film all the rats and he also talked to me a lot about what goes on at the show. That was really interesting to hear. I also got a little idea on how they judge rats. The Rat and Mouse Show was officially included in the Sydney Royal Easter Show competitions in 2004. Winning rats receive special ribbons. Some of the prizes and classes include Grand Champion Rat in Show, Best Junior Rat Exhibitor, Young Pet Rat, Adult Pet Rat, Rat Kitten, Companion Rat, there's so many. When a rat's number is called, they're transported in temporary tanks to the judges' table. Rachel has been judging since 2014. Well, I <laughs> <laughs> That's the worried place. Yeah. Worried place. When judging rats, they generally need to be in good health, a good size for their sex and age, well groomed, and have no injuries or signs of illnesses. They should be alert and inquisitive, but not lethargic, and they should never bite. If they do, they're immediately disqualified. One of the things I found most interesting was seeing all the different reactions to rats. A mix of curiosity, fear and adoration. 
Some people were coming up to the barrier and seeing rats for the very first time, and some, just like me, were missing their babies. Oh my god, I've never had a rat before. I feel so proud, thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, rat will eat our cat. Oh, really? I'm not like that. I'm like, I looked down and I was like, I was like, Are you gone? Oh, yeah. James gone? Oh, um, I think he's about 800 or so. Oh. So I find girl rats a while who have that problem with yeah. where I switch to males and they've just been, they're so lucky. Yes, I do have a rat. His name's Belly. <laughs> we never have had a cat or a dog, yeah, so we've we, always gone yeah. for more like exotic pets. So we yeah. just got like a we've rabbit, got, like, rabbits we've got a rat, as well we have mice. Stuff. We've um, always like these guys. It's like little portable friends so you can just put on your shoulder. After my much needed rat therapy, my good friend Maddie decided to join me and we explored the Easter show. I also showed her the rats and mice and got her opinion on them. What did you think about all the rats? They're very cute and I wish I could have held them. Yeah, we weren't allowed to pick them up. Why are you sad? Because I did not see any mice. There was only like 20 mice in the show when the previous year there was 250 just because COVID and things have changed. Sadly not a lot of mice but still a handful of rats. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone in New South Wales Fancy Rodent Society. Thank you so much for letting me take videos and photos of your rats. I really truly appreciate it. I also loved hearing everyone's experiences with rats. We all know the pain of having them, but we also know the joy that they bring, and that is just something amazing. And lastly, I want to thank you guys. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I want to dedicate this video to all of our raddies who have crossed the Rainbow Bridge. In case you're curious why I don't have rats anymore, I did a video where I explained in depth my reasons, so if you want to see that, just click the card on this screen and it'll take you there.